Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So with this video, we are going to take a close look at the Sega Saturn Twin Stick. Yeah, this is going to be quite interesting. And yeah, what are we going to get? So first off, let's do an unboxing and let's go. So I think it's a month ago that I picked it up. This thing has quite an adventure to it because it was basically lost in shipment, but I was super happy that I found it because I wanted to review this thing here on the channel. So I think a very long time ago in my previous collection, I owned myself a similar stick for the PlayStation 1. And I noticed this thing on a fellow collector's page here on the Dutch side Marv, what's it called. And what I find really interesting is that just the way how it looks. So basically this is more like a Mac Warrior stick. And I'm very interested to check it out. Because I love myself some Mac Warrior. I think on the Xbox I also have like a similar stick. That thing is like crazy expensive. It came including the game, the Virtual On Cyber Troopers. That's also what we're going to play today. We're going to connect it to my CRT television. And we're going to get, or I'm hoping we're going to get, a lot of fun. But sometimes I'm wondering like, is this thing ever used? Because look how the condition is. Or this guy was just super careful with his products. Even this foam is around the connector. It looks like it is used. But I think this is quite interesting piece of technology. And when it comes to weird controllers, I think that's quite interesting. Okay, so let's take a close look at the game itself. I found it quite interesting that he gives me like this very nice casing. Yeah, that's just new way to go because these boxes, or better said, these ways of protecting your games is just necessary. Because I do get a lot of these games are completely destroyed, especially when these plastic cases. And they are better like the PlayStation 1 because the PlayStation 1 were freaking a nightmare. Well, it seems to be that this thing comes in a very nice connection, including the original manual. I find it also quite interesting how these like Paul Sega Saturn games look. Here we're going to get some basic explanation about the game. So let's take a close look at the disc itself. Oh, vitral on. Oh, I do like the fancy fancy label of this thing and the thing is like in new condition so I'm very pleased with it because I got a couple of these games and most of them are like in very rubbish condition so let's take a close look at the joystick itself the joystick itself it's nothing really fancy when you're looking at like say button layouts the battalion stick of the Xbox I really want to review it here and have it in the collection because the thing is pretty damn awesome but this is just a very basic stick here you can see like there's only a star button we're going to get two joysticks both will have a trigger and of course at top we're going to get a button it got a very nice very thick sticker on it says like with some layout and Sega of course so here the bottom nothing really fancy going on so this thing is made in Taiwan and not in Japan but what I find interesting is that we're only going to need one controller port so that is the only thing because it's basically mimicking the d-pad and not look sick but in the inside we're going to get micro switches so let's do a quick tear down just to see what is inside because I am interested in that too so let's do that first so let's be very careful with the screws. I can hear like some uh, some cracking noises. And take consideration the plastics are like quite old now. So I don't want to break anything. But the most of the weight of the device comes from this metal plate. Okay, so let's remove the metal plate. Ooh, got some really sharp edges. Okay, so this is what we're going to get in the inside. It's quite laughable if you ask me. There's almost nothing inside. And the reason I want to open it up, I can already hear the clicking noises. And here you can see like it's a very cheap thing they made. But they have like this PCB with the plastic over here that keeps everything in place. And what you're going to get are actually like real micro switches in the inside. That is pretty damn awesome if you ask me. And in here we're going to get ourselves the encoder board. That's basically translating it to the movement from the joysticks to the Sega Saturn port. So that's the only thing that we're going to get in the inside. But when you're looking at this device itself, the controller, there are not a lot of components inside. But yeah, still want to see it. So let's put it back together and let's play some games. Okay guys, so when booting up the game, what you can see over here, we're going to get the option for a normal control pad and the twin stick. But we're going to use the twin stick, of course, in this video, I especially bought this system and the game okay so virtual on cyber troopers is the original game called so let's boot it up we have arcade versus so it seems to be can even play against each other 
would be cool to have two sticks. Okay, let's see what we're going to get. Ranking, replay, records and options. Okay, so let's take a close look at Arcade and just see how this freaking thing works out. Loading times, loading times. Here we're going to get you a different Mac Warrior. So you can see like we can use both your stick to choose a character. I'm just going to go for the first one. The thing looks really badass. I think despite this, it's 2022 now, I really love the way how this thing looks or this game in general. So let's boot it up. Of course, nowadays, every single game looks way better now. Okay, guys, so let's take a close look at the gameplay. Let's see how it works. So we can basically move with the right joystick, but also with the left stick. It's quite interesting how this works out. So let's see the shoulder or shoulder, but the top button doesn't do anything. At the right one, where right trigger, we're going to get the shooting for the gun. The left, we're going to get the bomb itself. And then we're going to move both of the joysticks like that. We have the option to quickly turn around. So it's quite an interesting option. I'm saying I need to really get used to the freaking joysticks. We can very fast go to the left or right one using both of the freaking joysticks. I'm gonna say it's a really fun thing to do, it's like giving you like a very cool, good experience when it comes to arcade gaming. Yeah, of course I won. I have. <laughs> oh, I didn't even kill the opponent, but but it's more like a battle game where we fight each, each other, and that's the only thing that we do. And of course, progressing to the stages, we're going to get like more better difficulty, different enemies, stuff like that. Okay, so let's go back to the configuration menu, and here you can see we're having some different options or I'm hoping we have different options. Because here we can see like this thing has right trigger, left trigger, dash and dash. But in overall, when you're looking at the way we can change it out, there is no option. This is kind of weird because when you're looking at the controller here, we can have like option, different options with configuration of the buttons. But with the joystick, it's just as it is. Yeah, that's kind of bummer. All right, so let's try another round for this game with a different character. I'm going to say that the game itself is kind of interesting and you really need to get used to it. When pressing both of the triggers we're going to get different actions. The dash button seems to be working when pressing the top buttons. So that's the idea behind this game. Like if you want to basically turn around, you just need to use both of the joysticks in the opposite ways. It's quite an interesting option. You really need to get used to it. But as you can see, I'm playing now for a couple of minutes and getting the hang of it. So I'm curious about the battalion stick of the Xbox version. And we're also are going to get a dual stick with the PlayStation 1. So these things are quite rare to, very quite difficult and rare to find. But an overall, like, they're a lot of fun to play with. It gives you, like, a, say, an arcade experience. It's a lot of fun. I'm just smashing some buttons because... I can't hit the guy! Get out the rockets! Just shoot all of them! Shoot all of the rockets! Alright, so let's try another one. I'm gonna say I'm getting the hang of it. It's quite addictive playing this game. Especially when you're going to get the hang of the controls. Yeah, shoot other rockets! Empty the clip! Come on! Come on! Oh crap! Come on, stand up! Shoot all of them! Absolutely power power! Fire power, yeah! The Sega Saturn, the twin stick. I must say, I was really looking forward to making this video. The reason why I'm a big fan of arcades and I did play around with the PlayStation 1 edition but this thing is a completely different experience simply because this thing had real micro switches. The thing I need to get used to, I'm just saying in this video, is like I need to get used to the controls itself because you just need to use the joystick so completely different. We are used like using this device as a normal let's say twin joystick shooter 
think about your PlayStation 2, for example, when you want to wipe like Quake 3, but this is still just a different way how you navigate your character in the game. I didn't grow up with Sega Saturn because I was a PlayStation 1 gamer and N64. But now after all of you getting these products and reviewing them here on the channel, it's a lot of fun because these products have a lot to offer even now in this year that I'm making these videos. So in the end, I really enjoyed making this video and it was a lot of fun playing it. Yeah, let me know in the comments, did you ever play something like this, some twin shooter or are you yeah, just thinking about getting it? Let me know in the comments. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.